Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good morning everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com weekend update show. Uh, welcome all you guys who are joining us via different uh, social media platforms, YouTube, StockTwits, uh, Twitter, uh, Facebook, I believe, right? All that good stuff. Hope all, all you guys are having uh, a great weekend. Uh, so quick announcement before uh, we get started. Uh, save the date, okay? Save the date, August uh, the 24th is uh, the new version of the PS60 uh, workshop, okay? Uh, this is the third installment. Uh, we started, you know, if all you guys who have followed me for, you know, for a long time, I've been tweeting out these pivots. I mean, basically in, in real time, I mean, there's, there's no, the market's not a trying to trick you. I'm not trying to trick you. If you have eyeballs, you can see the, you know, the really good measure potential of what these pivots have done. Uh, have done. Um, I've been doing this now for, for about seven years with these pivots, but for the last like three or so, uh, they've been really, I mean, really, really good. And, um, we've developed different aspects of the process throughout the year. So for example, when Apple comes out with a new phone, they don't completely remodel the new phone. They just add different, you know, different aspects. They have um, a better camera display, pixels, schmixels, all that good stuff. And they keep on uh, kind of reinventing the product by pushing it forward, by keeping the same fundamentals. Um, last year, okay, we did uh, the PS60 workshop and it really, put in a different perspective of how these pivots originally started seven years ago, because every single year I try to find different aspects and add different dimensions to make it better. And that's the whole point. When you're a trader, um, I, don't, I don't care how you trade, but when you are a trader, you can't sit there and rely on what worked yesterday. The, the dynamics of the market, we talk about this all the time, the dynamics of the market changes rapidly, very, very quickly, on a dime and what worked last week might never work at all. So it's very, uh, it's very, very important that you're constantly improving yourself. And I say this, especially to new traders, always back test. And I, I say this, you, you, you don't need to know what the hell you're looking at, okay? And uh, most traders have that aha moment, that light bulb that kind of clicks above them when they're just randomly looking at charts over and over and over again. But you have a better chance of understanding price action, better chance of understanding market structure if you're constantly looking at charts constantly in during the day watching order flow right all that good stuff uh you have to continue to get better and better because again as technology changes as the market changes you better change with it or you're going to perish and it's it's very very important fun for any strategy okay because again as the market gets longer in the tooth and you start to get as a better trader Technology is fighting the other side of your trade, okay? And again, you could clearly see that, especially with the algos that really came into fruition in the last 10, 15 years, how strong it really is necessary to kind of build your defense against uh, especially robotic, uh, robotic assassins. And if you look at the PS60 theory last year, right, uh, we added some pretty dynamic changes uh, to that workshop. And that workshop was about four hours, about three and a half, four hours. Uh, we added second entries, and we added um, we added a five minute interval to kind of confirm the sixty minute channel. Okay, and those two at that time were very very important because again they made these pivots that much stronger. Uh, this year we added um, some in incredibly important things. Okay, uh, it's almost like two different processes within the same process. And it was very, very important. And for all you guys in the live webinar, obviously you guys see this every day. For the guys on the Twitter feed, you see this every single day. But we added some really important things this year and things that I've been using now um, on a daily basis, which is very, very important. So what's new this year? Okay, we added uh, bounce and rejection plays. These are incredibly important vehicles, okay? Uh, you are basically taking sentiment, okay? So right now we're in a good market. You're taking sentiment and you're buying the strongest stocks on washes, you know, really aggressive washouts or even light volume washouts into rising support. As long as there's a trend, 
those bounce plays are very, very effective. When the market goes down, you want to use the opposite spectrum. You want to use the rejection zones. Again, if you believe in the theory that stocks trade from supply to supply and demand to demand, right? That's the whole point of the whole PS60 theory. Then you have to understand how important those levels are. So we, we uh, and I've been using now bounce plays, especially in this bull tapes, I've been just using bounce plays uh, for a while now. And they've been really, really good, incredibly good. Um, also, what's in, it, also was we identified this year and again i'm not an options player at all okay i'm probably the biggest novice when it comes to options i don't know anything i know buy calls by you know buy calls by puts but i do know directional measured potential because again i've been trading for such a long time and i can read a chart and we started using option flow okay uh aggressive option flow to confirm channels and we've been using option flow to kind of direct measured potential and i would say right now Half of the live webinar is probably 50% option players. And again, you don't need to be an equity trader, okay, when you don't need to be an option player to understand how important it is for option flow. So, for example, uh, Thursday, we saw a monster bet, okay, monster bet on uh, Amazon, $1.8 million bet for the 2,000 calls. The stock went from 1965 to 2,000. Like I mean, big, big move. And yesterday, on Friday, for example, and I tweeted this out, somebody bet $1.4 million on Amazon. Um, on CRWD, on CRWD, 85 calls. I got long at 82.80s and almost went to 85. So it's very, very important to kind of make dynamic changes in your game. And we, we definitely are going to include uh, these aspects in the next uh, installment, which is August uh, the 24th. It's a Saturday. Uh, we also, um, let me see what else. We're also going to talk about uh, option, uh, excuse me, watching order flow. Very, very important. I, I, know, I know it's a lost start. A lot of you guys call it tape reading. Uh, I call it order flow, uh, structural market balance, all that good stuff. Uh, you're also, for all you guys who uh, use different charting platforms, for example, um, we do have the mirrored layouts for uh, Thinkorswim, okay, and eSignal, which I use. So you don't need to have any guessing. We can send you guys uh, the layouts to these things and you can just plug and play uh, right away. So it's very, very important as well. Uh, also, just a big note, uh, all you guys who are going to join us for the 3.0 version, you're going to get the 2.0 version. Why is that important? You need to watch it. Okay, it's about three and a half, four hours. It's really the meat and potatoes of the theory of what we're doing. And what we're, we're going to try to do with the, with, the new, uh, with the new version of the PS60 workshop, we're only going to enhance. So you're, only, you're not only going to get the whole uh, 3.0 version, you are going, you need to watch. Uh, you need to watch the whole three and a half, four hours of the 2.0 version, and also we are throwing in um, we are throwing in a free um, complimentary month for the live webinar to obviously see this thing play out uh, all uh, at once. So there's a lot of information, a lot of good stuff. And again, I'm telling, and I've been saying this for a long time. If you are a struggling trade and you're trading three, four, five years, and you're just not getting anywhere, again, you have to open up your mind and you have to open up your eyes and just say, hey, there's something out there that's better. Again, our pivot's right for you. Nobody knows, right? Nobody knows. My size 11 might not fit into your size nine. That's why we try everything, okay? As adults, uh, as human beings, we try to fit in uh, fit in where we're comfortable. And again, our pivot's for you. There's only one way to find out. Uh, before you guys in the live webinar, obviously you guys see this every single day, how incredibly impotent it is. Uh, for all you guys who are joining us uh, for the August 24th, you will get some more uh, information uh, for this week and next week and all that good stuff. So hopefully you guys uh, will get a lot of good value and hopefully you guys uh, will join us. So uh, let's talk about the markets. Uh, the Dow, S&P, NASDAQ 100, all down this week. Did anybody really care? Did anybody really notice, right? Again, low volume, nobody cares. People on vacation, nobody cares. Uh, market structured news, nobody cares because everybody's numb to that news. China, nobody cares. Cut rates, okay, 50% cut rates. Again, for all you guys who are consumers, isn't cutting rates good? Again, you could turn around and say, well, it's bad for the economy, showing that the economy is bad. Yeah, I don't care. What would you rather pay, 7% or 4%, right? For the consumer, it's good. Uh, but again, the market might not see it that way. Again, I still think we grind higher into Labor Day, like I've been saying now, for two, three weeks. Yes, are you going to have intervals of weakness in the market? Absolutely. Are you going to have nasty reversals in the market? Absolutely. Are you going to find areas of the market that market sells on good news, right? Look at Amazon. Just to give you a perfect example on Amazon, Amazon came out with their prime day. Uh, impressive numbers, right? Impressive numbers. Uh, they talked about uh, a combination of Black Friday and Cyber Monday 
this uh, this tier of prime blew them all away and the market sold that news so again like i tell all the new traders it's not the news that's important how the market uh how the market digests it and trades off of it and again you saw netflix just absolutely destroyed this week the one thing they did not want to hear or the street did not want to hear you could you could talk about anything you want you don't want to hear on a growth story subscription uh, subscription slowdown you don't want to hear that they took the stock and they crushed it so you got amazon sold off on good news netflix sold off on bad news uh, and now we are kind of faced into a scenario from the macro view first time in a very very long time that this rising support needs to hold okay it needs to hold again you could be the biggest bull the biggest bear this is a very important level uh any close under uh 190 on the queues will start uh start a pullback okay and again nobody's calling for armageddon nobody's calling for the destruction of equity prices the only thing we are talking about is the ability for a structural back test that people will have the opportunity to buy the same stock at cheaper prices in a very very attractive sort of way and i do believe uh like i said i do believe we will still continue to grind higher into labor day and the true nature of the market will come after labor day because people come back from vacation kids start going back to school and you're going to have a lot bigger aggressive moves in the tape. But for now, uh, for all you guys who do trade beta, for all you guys who trade in these IPOs and all that good stuff, again, it's very, very tough to, you know, talk bad about the action. The, the market has been an incredibly aggressive tool. Again, maybe if you trade Procter and Gamble and Lowe's and maybe I don't know, God knows what else, uh, and Kroger, right? Uh, you know, maybe they're not doing anything. But every single day generally you're getting ridiculous ranges netflix amazon tesla which is a monster uh bynd and again i've been saying this every week bynd slowly but surely is turning into tesla i know it's a broken record but it is and for all you guys who are not trading beyond meat yet you got to look at it and i'm telling you once this thing gets easy to borrow everywhere this will be a two-sided monster just the way tesla is there's a lot of uh similarities right? The bears too far, too fast, piece of crap, blah, 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 all that good stuff. The bulls, the greatest growth story ever beyond meat is going to 400. So it's already tainted, right? And that's exactly what you want with an incredible potential uh, growth oriented two-sided trader. That's exactly what Tesla is. You've got Tesla, everybody's screaming it's going to 5,000. And then the other half of screaming is going to zero. That's what beyond meat is turning into. And we'll talk about the individual pivots in a second. But this, this, this year, I mean, this summer has been has been really good has been really really good uh you're getting really good opportunities most days and the days that are quiet you kind of you know want to take a step back and and kind of reevaluate for the next day and there's always no pressure to trade every single day because again you cannot get constantly dealt jacks queens kings and aces sometimes you will get dealt that proverbial uh two seven offsuit you just gotta just muck it right muck it you gotta fill ivy can't play every single hand maybe he can but he probably doesn't because he always knows there's a better premium hand up a road for him. Us as traders, it's exactly the same thing. You don't need to, okay? You don't need to trade the three nine offsuit, wait for the premium hands. And some days I'll trade twice. Some days like on Friday, I'll trade five, six times. Again, we don't know what the value tier system is gonna be until the market opens up and until we get confirmation prices. So uh, let's talk about Friday. Uh, again, the two biggest monsters um, two biggest monsters were BYND and Tesla. Tesla, again, as everybody knows, just my favorite stock. Uh, and BYND is starting to creep up on Netflix as my second favorite stock. But again, I don't discard my children just yet. I still love them. So BYND, let's just call it a kind of a distant cousin for now. But it's starting to be welcomed into the family more and more. So uh, let's talk about Friday session. Again, guys, we, we there, there is no... We, we don't cherry pick these things. This is, this, these are what the pivots are. We don't have 200 pivots and so we talk about the, the 10 that work. These are the pivots. Whatever they are, that's what they are. So uh, Tesla, I forgot to put it into the stock twits feed, but this is the area. This is where we got along this 256 area. The initial move was only like a dollar and change, and that's the one I took as a second entry. So we talked about 256. Why was 256 important? Here's the top of the, excuse me, here's the 256 area right over here. So the first move was like a dollar and change. So I scalped that one. Uh, I scalped that one and I got stopped out of my last third, uh, which was fine. There was nothing wrong with it. And then Tesla got stronger. Okay, Tesla got stronger. And the, the key area for the stock 
was really confirming this uh, 258 level and had a really, really aggressive move. And once it did, it really put in a big move almost to 60, 60. Now, why is that important? The closing basis is now over this linear regression line for Tesla. And I know, I know, guys, it's going to zero, and I know, guys, it's going to 5,000. But you have to believe in technical analysis. And, you know, the most important part is any close, okay, above this 258 area had a measure potential. When we talk about measure potential for option traders. This is kind of what we talk about. There's a measure potential now that Tesla has reclaimed the 258 area. The longer it builds above that 258 area, there's a measure potential, right? And for all your option players, here it is, right? Your first move, uh, 267, 269. And then if it really, really gets stretched out, and I understand they're coming out with earnings, so it may not play out that way. But then you have a really good measure potential of 282, 288. This is what I mean by you don't need to be an options trader to understand measured potential. And this is where swing trading and options really, really uh, come into play. But, you know, again, Tesla, very, very good move. We're watching it. Obviously, they're coming out with earnings uh, very, very soon. So we have to kind of trade it with a little bit more tighter of a reach. Again, as long as it builds over 258 going into earnings, it will have uh, upward bias. So big move on Tesla. And then BYND, I mean, this, this thing is just a beast. I mean, absolute beast. Uh, I've been, I, I trade it now pretty much every day. Uh, it's, it's just a really, sometimes it trades thinner, okay? And my most of my entries at whole numbers, so that's, that's where like the biggest liquidity is. But this thing is just, it's starting to be a rock star. Uh, 172.50, 173 needs to build. And this is why, okay, this is why right here. So here is the 72.50, okay? Here is the 72.50 area right here. You can see 172.45. Going to supply again, the whole point of the PS60 theory is confirmation of supply. Once it got above it, it just absolutely exploded and put in a high of 279. Again, when we talk about measured potential, and for all you guys who have been watching me tweet it, talking about, well, this thing has a shot at 279, 279, 279. It went to 279. That's the whole point of measured potentials for all you guys who are trading it in the option side on Friday. Once it started building above 73, it reached its measured potential. And for next week, if it starts reclaiming and really, really building, off this 180 level, here's your next level potential, right? Measure potential 186. So again, you don't need to be an options trader to understand measured potential, but there it is right here. And I do believe for beyond to continue its momentum, uh, momentum ways, it really needs to really needs to have a good uh, earning showing. Okay, and again, we don't know, we don't know what's going to happen, but for it to really, really start trapping more and more shorts. Has to, um, has to come out with some good news, more good news, or even better, if it comes out with bad news, and again, like Citron, for example, has been bashing the stock for a year, or not a year, it feels like a year, uh, but it, it, the fact that it keeps on absorbing bad news or absorbing hit pieces on newsletters, this is all good. There's nothing more bullish than a stock absorbing bad news or bad sentiment, so beyond continues, needs to continue to do that as well. Uh, Amazon never reclaimed uh, 95. Uh, yeah, NVIDIA 7140 needs to build to spike it. Again, not the biggest move in the world, but uh, again, for all you guys who did take NVIDIA, here's the 17440, right? Here's the 17440, and it traded right to supply. Again, we it's important to understand where stocks will stop into supply. And again, you know, 60, 70 cent move, not the, you know, not the biggest trade in the world. But again, if you took it, you already understand your max potential before you put on the trade. So again, you could always ask yourself, is this trade right for me? Is there enough room? Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. But again, stocks, a pivot is a pivot is a pivot. Uh, let's see what else. Let's see what else. KPTI never uh, triggered. And Chewy, you know, Chewy got, Chewy, good job for all you guys who traded Chewy. Uh, 3215, 32, if it builds below, can flush. Um, came out with earnings, uh, again, speaking of Citron, uh, came out with earnings. Um, Citron already uh, bashed the stock or researched uh, the name a um, couple of weeks back, and they just couldn't rally after the, after the close. They just couldn't rally. Uh, and we talked about 3215, 32 being uh, the pivot. Here is the reason why. Here's the 3220 area. And once it confirmed, right, once it confirmed, it got smashed. It got absolutely smashed. And uh, any close, again, like I said, any close below uh, 3079 was going to be bearish. Now, why was 3079 important? Because that was the IPO low and the stock went down to 30 and a quarter. That is the pivot. Okay, that is now the pivot. 
it needs to reclaim, sellers need to reclaim that 30 and a quarter, 30 area and start building below for the stock to go lower. So you have a couple of catalysts here. You have Citron on their neck, right? They couldn't rally into earnings. So again, the point is you have to look at it sometimes from common sense. If the stock can't rally into earnings and loses a catalyst and has a hit piece and all that good stuff behind it, well, when is the stock going to rally, right? Kind of sometimes you don't, you don't need to overthink it. So for Monday, for example, or Tuesday, whatever it happens, uh, again, any close now below uh, 30 and a quarter, 30, you know, could get this thing down to 27, 28 bucks. So for all you guys who are still in this thing, I know some of you guys are holding the 30 puts. Uh, good job there uh, as well. And there was a bunch of bounce plays. Uh, we had, uh, I had, um, what did I have? I had uh, CRWD. Uh, I had CRWD. The funny thing is, I, I actually put on three CRWD trades, okay? The first one was a reclaim, okay? It was a reclaim, so, so check this out. So the first one, I bought on this reclaim here after that first dip. So I bought it, it goes up like 75, 80 cents. I'm talking about in a second. If you guys remember how this thing was trading, it was trading ridiculously thin, ridiculously thin. So I actually missed my sales, right? Because I thought it was gonna go back to the highs of the day. I missed my sales. Uh, I didn't have a chance to use break even. Okay, didn't have a chance to use break even. So I wound up losing like ninety cents in the trade. Again, not the biggest trade, not the worst trade in the world, but the point is, it was just trading all over the place. The sec, I went in actually the second time. I bought it again, right? I bought it again on the eighty four reclaim. It goes up now in the eighty cents. I figure, okay, this is it. It's going to go again. It still doesn't go, but this time around, I use break even as my trade. And the third time around, okay, third time around, this is what I mean by using option flow, okay, using option flow as a point of interest to get into a trade, that somebody bought, I think it was 1.4 million or 1.8 million of the August 85 calls. Uh, this was at 82, 82.65, I believe. And it was holding, was holding. Once, once it started moving back up, I bought it at 80, I bought it at 82, uh, 82.80, I believe, 82.80, and it went to, almost 80, 84 and change. So nice move, um, nice move on that. But this was a wild one, definitely, definitely a wild name. Uh, but again, we use everything in our arsenal to kind of get us from point A to point B. Overall, no complaints, uh, no complaints of the week. Uh, I, I think again, macro-wise, it's very, very important for us to kind of get an early signal within the first two candles of the day to kind of see which way the bulls are going to, um, you know, they're going to play. They're either going to reclaim areas, or the cues, uh, or the cues on the on a daily close uh, will give up that 190 area. And if it does, right? If it does, we're going to start uh, going lower. Obviously, a whole slew of earnings coming out uh, this week. Uh, let's see what we got. We have a whole a whole universe of uh, let's see here. We have a whole universe of stocks uh, coming out with earnings uh, this week. Uh, let's see what we got here from Monday. Uh, Monday, Monday, nothing really big. Tuesday, we got Snapchat, Visa, Chipotle. Uh, Wednesday, we got Tesla. Tesla, Facebook. Tesla, Facebook will be big. Uh, Thursday will be the mega one. Amazon, Google, Starbucks, all that good stuff as well. And Friday, you got Twitter. Uh, Twitter, McDonald's, uh, Proctor, uh, Avvi, all that good stuff. So busy, busy week of earnings, but we will definitely get a very clean uh, look at which way sentiment is going to whirl uh, very, very early. So let me give you guys some ideas uh, for, for for Monday. Uh, let me give you guys some ideas for Monday session, and we'll see exactly where we can get. So again, I, I like Tesla. Again, they report uh, in the middle of the week. Um, any dip, and again, this is what we talk about. Everybody see that, guys? This is what we talk about, buying strong stocks into rising support, strong stocks into rising support, strong stocks into rising support. We'll obviously talk about that uh, on the workshop. Uh, but uh, any dip, uh, any dip on Tesla, uh, any dip on Tesla Monday morning, uh, we will be uh, looking at for a possible uh, reclaim of rising support, or if it starts building above this 260 area for an aggressive trade. So keep an eye on that. Uh, BYND, same thing. Okay, you're looking right now. All you guys are joining us the first time at home. Uh, you're looking at the 60 minute channels. We're looking for any dip, any dip into rising support on a reclaim or a break above, uh, or a break above. Uh, Friday's highs to get it going. So keep an eye on that. Um, I like, you know, I, I like Amazon short. Um, maybe not for, maybe not for tomorrow, but definitely I kind of like it short. Any close below right over here. Everybody see this rising support? 
any close below 1950, I think it goes to 1900. Again, if you believe in the theory of stocks trade from supply to supply and demand to demand, well, here's demand and well, here's demand. So you're talking about a potential, again, measured move, right? Measured move from 1950 to 1905. So for all you guys who are trading the option side, you know, again, understand measured potential and you know there's a real possibility if it closes below 1950, it could get to 1905. So you can get your ducks in a row uh, putting on your options trade. So I kind of like that. I like this NTES short, man. Look at look at this thing. This thing closed right on support, right on support. Now this is a kind of a tough stock to trade. So all you guys are trading the option side, might be a little bit of a cleaner trade. But any breakdown, any close below three, 243 has measured potential all the way down to 233 and then the 230. So I kind of like that. Uh, ATVI, I like short as well. Again, you can start see, you can realize now very, very easily how the market's starting to turn, at least for now. It still needs confirmation. Um, I like uh, I like Activision if it starts building below 45. Um, you know, you had some pretty decent moves. Uh, you had some pretty de decent move potential all the way down uh, to 41. And I like Pepsi. Pepsi looks good as well. Again, first close uh, underneath rising support. If it gets starts building below 130, again, here's your measure potential, 127, 126, obviously. Uh, check for uh, earnings date as well. So guys, have an awesome, awesome week. Again, uh, for all you guys who are interested in pivots, I I'm, I'm telling you, uh, this is definitely worth the price of admission. Uh, you're not only going to have access to the, the new 3.0, you're going to get the, se the, the second one, which is incredibly important. That's the one you want to watch. So you're talking about almost eight hours of content that you really, really need to uh, appreciate because, you know, again, th there's nothing random about pivots. These are very, very Organic, organic, structured, measured potential moves. And the point is, again, you see this every day for me posting them live every day, every day, every day. Uh, there's nothing, nobody's trying to trick you. This is market structure. And the most important part is to understand why. Guys, have a great night. Have an awesome rest of your Sunday. And with God bless, I'll see you all in the field tomorrow. Take care, guys. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.